is Humberto's mother. She is a caring single mother who loves spending time with her kids, but doesn't always have the time to take him around to where he needs to go, whether it be soccer practice, his friend's house, or wherever. All right. So then she decided, I mean, thousands of people use public transportation, right? So why not sign up for that? And until one day, when Humberto comes home and tells his mom, Mom, I need money. And she says, Ay, Dios mío, I gave you money this morning. Humberto, what did you do with it? And he broke the story to her. Mom, I got robbed on the bus this morning. And so she said, no, no more of that, no. I'm signing you up for Uber and Lyft. She liked the idea that it was just going to be him and the driver going to their destination safely. It was good, right? Until she was watching the news one day. And she found out that Uber only screens their drivers for the first three years before, uh, before they started driving. And so that's when she decided to use some common sense and she realized she didn't want her son driving around with an ex-convict, right? So that's when she found out about Hop, Skip, Drive through this very program, actually. And um, it was safe, extremely inconvenient, though, until one day when Humberto had a date. And he was going to go on that date, but unfortunately he got bailed on an hour before. And they couldn't cancel the ride, right? And Humberto's mother doesn't want to spend $30 for no reason, so he sends her, he sends him on the date alone and asks him to bring back some dinner. Moral of the story, don't use hop, skip, drive, it's terrible. All right, so now Humberto's mother is concerned about her niece. And she doesn't want to go through this cycle over and over again with her niece, right? So she's analyzing all of these sources, all of these services, and she finds that they're missing both convenience and safety. But don't worry, Humberto's mother, there is a solution. Safe car combines the conveniency of an Uber and a Lyft with the safety of a hop, skip, drive. All right, so these are some of our differentiating factors. So we have a live camera feed of the interior of the vehicle so the parent can see exactly what is going on inside of the car throughout the entire ride. We have a live tracker so the parent can see exactly where the car is throughout the entire ride. And we also have an emergency button for the driver so they can alert the parent if anything were to go wrong. So here are a few pictures of our UI. Um, if you guys want to come up to us after the presentation, we have a full mock-up downloaded onto our phones. So Hop, Skip, Drive is our main competitor, and they have shown us that there is a market for such a service, as they've been been, they have been in business for the past two years. In those two years, they have been able to raise $14 million, but yet, how many of you guys actually know who they are? Can I get a quick show of hands, how many people know them? And how is your experience with them? So, some of our competitive advantages is that we're second to the market. This means that we can really focus on the issues that Hop, Skip, Drive has and perfect them. And we don't really need to focus on establishing the market since they've done this already. Secondly, we have a lot less restrictions since Hop, Skip, Drive limits their drivers to just nannies, which means they can only get a fraction of the market. And the critical mass. Since we have so little restrictions, it's going to be very easy for us to actually acquire a criti critical mass, which will allow the users to experience the, the conveniency, the conveniency that our application um, gives them. So we have some traction. And I'm proud to say that we have been able to reach our goal of over 1,000 users. Thank you. From those, we have 248 potential drivers and 905 potential users. So we went, we went through this by talking to friends, families, and sending out emails. But although those were great and they were free, it really didn't work out because it got to a point where we didn't know who else we could possibly sign up. This is when we moved on to Facebook ads. It worked, but it was just way too expensive for each sign up. So then frustrated teens, we went out and we started talking to our friends. And this is when we decided to actually hire some of them, to go out and actually talk to people and sign them up. So friends and family, it worked out, but we, only, we were only able to get so far with it. Emails were great too, we had a bunch of them, but it was just too easy for them to say no, too easy for them to just ignore. Facebook ads, it was way too expensive. If we want to make an actual company, it would be impossible just because each user would cost so much. So the salespeople 
was by far the best and most effective. So if we use these numbers, we can actually see how much it would cost us to acquire our critical mass, actual users, not just signups. So if we want 1,000 users and 250 drivers, um, there's no specific conversion rate. There's not like, oh, okay, every five people are gonna sign up. So we made a, a range of percentages to actually see how much it would cost us to acquire this initial critical mass. So those numbers aren't really in our favor, so let's see how much money we could actually make. So we did a little survey and we noticed that parents usually take their kids on usually take their kids to activities two times per week. So that means in one month alone, parents need to go and take their kids to an activity 16 times. That's there and back for four weeks. So um, if, we if we're able to capture four of these times and multiply, multiply that by the average cost of one ride, which is $15, that's $60 per kid per month. So if we multiply that by our critical mass, that's $60,000 in revenue, $60,000 in revenue with just our critical mass of 1,000 users. And we, we figured that most people would actually use our application during school, so which runs for eight months. So that's an annual revenue of just under half a million dollars. But we wouldn't be getting that money. We'd be getting a quarter of that. So in our first year alone, we would be getting $120,000. But that's, that's not including all of the costs for our initial critical mass and for doing a full background check on all our drivers. So in reality, we'd be making $88,000 in our first year alone with just 1,000 kids. So that doesn't seem too much because that's nothing compared to what we can actually make in the future. We plan on making our first million dollars in revenue in the beginning of August in 2019. And we plan on making our first million dollars in profit the next year. All right, so you heard it from us, but is this really gonna work? Well, we have three accredited investors who have agreed to invest $110,000 in us. All right. So here's a quick timeline of what's gonna happen. So by the end of September, we can release our app. The next month, we can actually have some money rolling in. Then um, by December, we can have our initial uh, seed funding. And 2018, we'll focus on marketing. Um, and then by 2019, we can actually have uh, at least 9,000 users. So how will we do this? Partnering with schools is extremely important, and um, I know that sounds really hard to do. I mean, we're just four high school students, right? How are we gonna pull this off? Well, take a look at our board of advisors. We have Brett Brewer, co-founder at Crosscut Ventures, also helped launch MySpace, director of After School All Stars. We also have Michael Tam. Uh, he was in the operations at Uber, head of operations at L and an associate at Crosscut Ventures. And last, but definitely not least, we have Frank Baxter, a member of our board of advisors, multiple time CEO, US ambassador to Uruguay, former director of NASDAQ. And here is the man himself. Please give a warm welcome to Frank Baxter. Now, as an investment banker, I've evaluated hundreds of companies and this is a winner. It, it, meet, it meets a need, it has the people, it has the customers, so. I'm way behind it. Thank you. All right. So lastly, uh, you saw our advisors, um, but this is the team to pull it off.